Well, have you seen the latest ads for stores like The Gap? Seems like thin is what's in, again, when it comes to fall fashions. Just walk by any store or turn on the TV, and skinny jeans are all the rage. Well, my next guest says that the skinny push is a stupid business move, and retailers are going to get squeezed. She's Wendy Coffin, and you know her as the Snapple Lady. She's also the co-creator of WendyWear.com. So you're saying, essentially, Wendy, stop this skinny nonsense, right? I think that this whole thing is so absurd, and I just wonder who is sitting in these corporate offices in America and making these decisions. There are Probably a lot of horny men, right? <laughs> in a fantasy world, I think, because obviously these clothes fit only one type of person, which is a six foot ten model, okay, that has legs. All right, 64% of American women are a size 14 and above. So you wanted to cater to that market. I totally think that that is just such a missing market and nobody seems to care because what they're doing... But aren't there plus size clothing stores and all that? They're not addressing this? What's happening is if you go into clothing stores, you see a lot of clothing that skews towards very young people and that's fine. But what about us? What about, you know, all women that have problem solution you know issues with so their older body. women what are you saying is available for them just you, you want to know something if you check out home shopping networks or whatever where a lot of people do shop right. there are these gargantuan sweaters with huge applique kites and pumpkins <laughs> and you know what I live in the city and I'm a fairly successful person and I really like myself and you know what when I go to a party or I go to a club or I go to lunch I want to look good and I want to feel empowered about so what's who different I am. with Wendy wear versus other let's say plus size well, wear for one of a better well what happened was is that after I did celebrity fit club which was um, just a, a life-altering experience yeah, that made for me, you a rock star all over again it right? was unbelievable it was just thrilling I lost 55 pounds and I gained a few because obviously I'm never gonna be a size 2 or a 4 it, it's not gonna happen in my lifetime well you look beautiful that's you, a moot point but you, but You're saying that look, these guys are ignoring heavy women at, to their own detriment. So, so when I was on Celebrity Fit Club, I realized here I am trying to get healthy. Everyone is talking about people should try to get healthy. So I'm trying to get healthier. And what am I ha having to wear is men's extra, extra large shorts. So, so now you have a whole collection of stuff that's beautiful and not the big orange or purple stuff, I, right? I know a, a woman who is in advertising, my co-creator, Lisa. Okay. She is a genius in marketing, advertising, and branding. And I talked to her, and she had the same vision as as I did. And, and now she it's was thinking wendywear.com. And where can you get it? Uh, and, well, right now it's online, www.wendywear.com. Okay. All right. Wendy, great Let seeing you, you again. Let me tell you something. I've eaten frankfurters bigger than the legs of those <laughs> pants, Neil. So let's talk amongst ourselves. All right, all right. Enough, enough. <laughs> Wendy, good seeing you again. Your reaction to George Soros after this.